And away we go from Cardinal Stadium. And we'll start with a touchback. So let's talk about Malik Cunningham. You know, when you look at it, Travian Cooley starts in the backfield once again today for the Cards. Cunningham lets it go, and it's caught for the first down to the 42. The Cards move the sticks. Watch this as he breaks open, takes it downfield, a little contact, but goes up and gets it. PFF has him as one of the best. Third down and about a yard for Wake on its first possession. Here goes Cunningham. First down to the 38-yard line. Perry brings down Cunningham. At Malik Cunningham. A first down throw. Over the middle. First down to the 20. Another throw and catch. Wingfield makes the play defensively. That's the second big catch. We were speaking with Lance Taylor and asking him about Malik. He said, we just have to get the plays that are there. That was a wide open pass. A couple of games ago, we'd see him miss that. Third and two. Tenth play of the drive. Cutting into the air and he misfires. And that'll bring up a fourth down and short. So the way deep. You, you've got to score. 29 yard attempt for James Turner's had a great year and that continues. 11 field goal of the year for Turner. Corner cat, that's a free play right here. Flag is down. Hartman gonna take a shot and it's incomplete. But it did look like U of L was offside on the play on the third and long. Heat him up, right? No, there's no question about it. Third and long here, they're going for the sticks. Hartman delivers it complete, but Morin brought down far shy of the first down for the cards. And the Mississippi native backs all the way up inside his 20 yard line. Great punt. Now can wait cover. And he's banged out of bounds near the 25 yard line. 51 yards on the punt. Are told we'll see Tyon Evans today as well for the cards. Second and five. Here's Cunningham. To the 40, and across midfield, the dangerous Malik Cunningham in Wake territory. Can you see the zone reader? He's going to put that ball in. Mustafa gets a little greedy, tries to go after the running back. Understand you have quarterback. You've got to attack him. He tried to get that ball out. Good finish there, but Cunningham is such a dangerous piece. For Mustafa. him to go out, it's going to be tough. Yeah, Mustafa lands on that ankle. Jordan remains the back off the right hip of Malik Cunningham on third and five. He's wide open. That's a first down for Jordan ahead to the 30 of Wake and knocked out near the 29 yard line. Nice job by Jordan. He gives him something in that passing game. Third and four. Out of the pistol, Cunningham to the boundary and he's short. He was 11 of 12 on the year. And he scoots that one inside the upright as well. 6 0 is the score. And the Cardinals have jumped out to a 6 0 lead. Second possession of the day for Wake Forest. And Hartman over the middle connects to Perry. Good job by the umpire to duck to get out of the way. The ball comes free. They say he's down right on the 31 yard line, right at the feet of Brownlee. They come with the blitz. Down he goes on the 20-yard line. Miggins with a sack. Right up the gut, make somebody make a decision. And you see here, just too many guys. There's not enough blockers. A free man comes through. There's a little bit of offensive lineman play getting on different levels. Just a fantastic scheme call. You go man to man in the back. So there isn't just an instant read. Not enough time. He's surrounded by Cardinals. Braden Smith, the Louisville return man, calls for the fair catch and takes it on the 23. And the Cards leading 6-0. Cunningham on second and two. He'll have the first down and out at the 36-yard line. Remember, he got hobbled off the field early. Cards have run already for 65 yards as a team in this fourth quarter. And another big hole. There goes Evans again. Boy, he is tough to tackle. He's got the first down. A.J. Williams makes the tackle. You know you have another down to pick it up. Let's test them deep and take a shot. Final play of the quarter. They keep it on the ground, and Evans struggles enough for the first down to the Wake 40-yard line. What a bounce-back win. Look out. Here's a flea flicker. Cunningham fires deep. 
He's got his man inside the five, <laughs> down to the one-yard line. Trickeration for Malik and the Cardinals. Here's the big play. Yeah, you love to see it. Just a big tight end right beside his quarterback, and he's just going to sneak out here. Again, all that action in front of Wake Forest. They see a handoff, then they see, oh, it's a reverse. Oh, wait, who has the tight end? Who had him in the backfield? All that room. And Malik just airs it out. Would have loved to see him lead it a little bit, but hey, we get down there, we walk down the field. First and goal near the two. Cunningham gets in for the touchdown. And a one-yard run by Cunningham. By the way, that's now 32 consecutive games with a catch for four. James Turner adds the extra point. If there's any team that's built for a double-digit comeback, it's Wake Forest. Hartman throws incomplete on the left side, but Perry draws the flag on Trey Clark. 41 and a half points per game. From the 40. Good protection, and Hartman delivers wow. it on the money ahead of the 38-yard line. And that's what we're talking about. So many weapons. Yeah, really great catch here. You see him coming out of the H-back position, getting behind the linebacker, and just finding that soft, impressive talent. On the ground, inside the 25, ahead of the 24-yard line. Jones was able to just under a yard. And that's enough for the first down. Hartman keeps it. Hartman inside the five, lowers his shoulders. He has the first down. I think he needed to cross the four. He took a hit from MJ Griffin. First and goal for the Deeks. Here's Ellison. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Strong run for Ellison. He breaks the plane, and the Demon Deacons are on the board here in Louisville. Zone read, Sam Hartman says, you take it. He does the rest. Wake on the board. 7-13, cards up. And the patient running ability from Ellis. Trips to the field side for Cunningham. They keep it on the ground, and that's a tremendous play by Jaheen Davis to read that and bring him down. He plays it perfectly, gets him down on the ground. Jasheen Davis. Let's see if the Deeks can get off the field on third down. Cunningham dumps it short, and another great defensive play. This time coming in, it's Smenda from the linebacker spot, Ryan Smenda. Trigger extremely fast. He came from a defensive end position across the formation. Our first look at the Louisville punter, Mark Vassett, kicking it to Taylor Morin. And this punt is fair caught near the 27-yard line, which will send us to a break. <laughs> Christian Turner in the game now in the backfield next to Hartman. The Deeks went 75 yards on their last possession, but this drive's going to start with a sack back on the 20-yard line by Yaya Diaby. Makes Looked like his. the ball came out right there, brother. It did come out. Let's see. Yes! It's a sack. Stop before the ball became loose. Oh. <laughs> second down. Wow. That's they say lucky. his forward progress. Hartman to the air. Let's it go, and it's caught on the 35-yard line. Breaking free is green, and he's got the first down. And the slow mesh, breaking free is Turner. Here he comes again. Out of bounds near the 39-yard line as Abdullah makes the play again. Getting that thing back, getting the football in a great situation, and now Wake Forest just pounding the football. Just a great run there, staying patient, bouncing outside when he needs pass on consecutive plays now on first down Hartman to the air a deep shot and that'll be a flag clearly a pass interference call that's Banks who's to keep it on the ground on first down to Christian Turner
to the tight end. The first down again to Whitehart. On the ground, out of the slow mesh. Turner got popped over there by Jones. Ball is free, ball is down. There's a lot of chirping going on right now. I'm okay with the physicality, but that's we've seen that called in a lot of games. Hartman to the air, banks the catch. Touchdown, Wake Forest. We have a good view of it. What a huge throw. On second down, Cunningham to the air, and that catch is good enough for the first down. Right in front of the Cards bench, Huggins Bruce. Out of the pistol, Evans again, nice cut to the right. He's got the first down, runs over the safety, and gets to the 48-yard line. A.J. Williams finally brought him down. Usually a tight end, he's lined up as a receiver on third and nine. That's deflected and incomplete. Intended for Hudson, no flag on the play. Carson again with another defended pass. One point game in the final 205. Hartman is going to be sacked again back on the 17 by Trey Clark. And Satterfield on the field calling for the timeout. And that's a tough situation for the running back to go across the formation. Sees it late. He just dips under and is right in the quarterback's lap. Louisville will have just one timeout remaining when it gets the ball now. And Smith backpedals. He is one of the best return men in the ACC on punts. He's going to get him the ball near the 45-yard line. Two-minute drill for the Cards, down one. Four receiver set. Jordan on first down. Down the sideline. <laughs> Nearly in field goal range now, ahead of the 32-yard line. Just really a great job by the running back. He freezes, doesn't take anybody. And you see Jordan just get out in space, get out of bounds. Now we're in a really good spot. So they're right at about his range now. Cam to the air. Now they're in the red zone inside the 20 as Hudson steps out to stop the clock. Now Louisville's thinking, let's get six in the game in the backfield on this third down play. Cunningham to the air. To Jordan E. Can't make the play. Does he answer the bell? Oh, no! Why right? Wow. And the two penalties negate two successful kicks by Turner. And Wake Forest maintains the lead. Down if they don't make it, they'll go for it on fourth down on the final play, perhaps. Let's see. Ellison. Gets him the first down out to the 42-yard line as M.J. Griffin makes the play with 15 seconds left. Well, Williams and A.T. Perry and Lauren, they've got some guys that can make a play late. Hartman to Green. He leaps at the 15, and he's got it. That'll stop the clock with one second left. That's not enough time to spike and get your kicking team in. Only thing you can do is respond defensively. Go get them. Hartman slides left, another little sidearm flip, this one to Morin, and that'll be enough for the first down. He's done it again, a little Mahomes. Ryan Brown, the defensive coordinator. That ball was picked off, down the sideline. Touchdown for Trey Clark. third quarter goes to Clark and this is just a really great job by Clark staying right on top of his receiver triggering down activating those legs jumping the pass there and then he does the rest to have the awareness to tiptoe on the sideline as you see right when Sam's winding up to throw he breaks he's almost running the route for AT there gets his hand on the football he knows what to do after he gets it Lobel's ninth in the nation with 16 turnovers gained now the extra point.
2014. How has he grown to flush that? Here is Ellison, a first down run in a big hole, and he powers his way for 12 ahead to nearly the 37-yard line. Josh Minkins makes the play. The slow mesh, the quick throw, and it's caught over there by Perry, and it's a good thing that Clark got him down. Here's Hartman on first down, the rush comes in for the fourth time. He is sacked. Sonago gets that one. Momo, the middle linebacker, with the play. You see he's coming right up the gut. Delayed blitz. Get off me, tackle. Gets in the backfield, makes the huge sack. Hartman on second and long. Has it stripped. That's a loose football. And the Cards come away with it. Abdullah gets the strip. And Louisville is in business again. As you see, just an amazing release by Abdullah. He's going out on that left tackle. We told you, keep an eye on it. This is a backup. Nash is out. That's one of the best pass rushers in the entire country. And Spencer Clapp not able to get on top of him. Strip sack. All the momentum in the world with the Cardinals right now. Anticipating the pass. They keep it on the ground on third down. And Jordan stopped on the 20. He's going to be short. Fourth down in less than a yard. They go fast. They hand it off. Stuffed. He didn't make it. Coordinator at Wake. He's been there for Coach Grobe. And now again at Wake. Here's a big first down run for Williams. Yards after catch. Josh Minkins makes the play. It'll go for a 21-yard pickup. Hit a lot. Get the ball out quickly. You've got those big wide receivers. Your big tight end out in space. Williams says, I'll do the rest. Keyshawn, he's telling you about it every single time. On second down, they keep it on the ground. And on second effort, Ellison is close to it. Abdullah made the play. It has been an interesting day for Clark, right? He to the air. It's caught by Green. Ahead to the 25-yard line, and Chandler Jones makes the tackle. Not so fast as you see these defenders tight in the box. Sam says we're going right over top of you. Great catch by Green right over Montgomery there. Throw and catch. Hartman from the 24. Had it stripped again. And the third turnover of the third quarter for Wake Forest. Sonogo gets the strip and the cards get it back. He's going to take another look here. Let's do it live. You see the running back. He's got to hit that man. That's not even his fault. That's close, partner. I, I think that's a sack fumble. I think that ball's out. Sam tried to go forward with it. Obviously frustrated. Feel like he has no time, but that was actually his big center. One of his best friends, Michael Jurgens, up front. Man, that's close. This is going to be fascinating to see what they call. For the guys in today, the black helmets. I was usually saying the red, all black. First down throw, and Cunningham connects. That'll be enough for the first down out to the 37-yard line. They've got a lot of confidence here. Cunningham has thrown an awful lot today. This time going to be sacked back inside his own 30-yard line, and that's Pointer. Coming through to make the play defensively. Just gets kind of tossed there. Big, strong guy falling into the tackle. You see the sack. Little Reggie White. Come on. I hear you. Are the receivers at the top of your screen on this third and long. Cunningham lets it go. And a leaping grab by Hudson. Right at the sticks. He's got the first down. That might be his best throw of the day, Mac. He's the freshman from Mississippi that they think so much of. They hand it off to Evans again, and he's got a hole. Evans off to the races, and he'll score. Time is Evans from 52 yards away. Look at the blocking up front. Evans says, I'll do the rest. 40 yards to the house. Cards up big. Lowell gets it second 
touchdown. Hartman lets it go, and it's caught by Williams. Stretching forward, he tried to reach the ball across. There's the flag. You were calling it. This time they did. From the 44, Hartman looking left. Over the middle, popped in the air and intercepted again. This is Monty Montgomery. He laterals it down the sideline. There goes Biggins. Inside the 10. The fourth Wake Forest turnover of the third quarter on the deflection. Out on out on the edge and did it again. Watch the play here. Sam trying to force the issue. Wide receiver actually drops it. Hits him right in the face. Watch the fake. And he says, now nah, I'm going to give it to you. Little option play there. Louisville out here having some fun, my man. Cards on first down. Here's Cunningham. Cuts back. Cunningham scores! But you see the read. Fake handoff. He's trying to get somebody in space. Says, I'll take it to the house. I'll do it by myself. Just get on my back. Another rushing touchdown for the Cards QB. Cunningham is fourth in the ACC in rushing, and that is a statistic that a lot of people probably wouldn't expect, right? You know, you, know, you see the Shipley and the Tucker and the Atlanta Cannon. You... Thirty-four, fourteen. This is a Wake Forest team that averages forty-one points per game. Hartman in trouble. Lost it again. Five turnovers in the third quarter. The Cardinals have number 10 on the ropes. Defensively, and you just see left tackle. It doesn't matter who's in the game. They keep getting beat. And guys have three hits where they're teeing off on Sam Hartman. Now, I'd love to see a little bit better ball security. I'd love to see him have two hands on the football there. But at the end of the day... Sam Hartman has had no time to operate. To the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. And you're going to see here, this is a little bit of an interesting play because we're going to run a quick pitch. These guys haven't seen this on film. They think it's a run. They trigger down so quickly. And there's nobody behind. There's nobody to help as Carter comes down with the touchdown. Braden Smith gets the touchdown pass. All kinds of extra opportunities. The Cards turning it into points. 41-14. We are really not that bad. Right. How do you respond? I mean, that's been the biggest kind of issue is lack of consistency from Louisville these last three games more than figuring it out as you see the production here, a little bit of a pile being Look at pushed that. here yeah, that was Towns on the kick return he got all the way to the 43 yard line they've got to get all the way to the 47 of Louisville nope Punt is away. And the fair catch called for and fair catch made by taken by Braden Smith. They come with a late blitz. Cunningham lets it go. Nearly caught at midfield. Good defense there by Holmes. He got in there to help break that up, knock it away. Should get some pretty good field position here. Morin is the return man. See if he can make a play in the special teams. Instead, it's fair caught on the 38, under two minutes to go. The Louisville plan today, they let Clark man on man all day. They throw it over the middle, it's caught, and on cue, the Louisville defender, uh, defender Griffin makes the play. Deeks have to get to the 14. Final minute of the third. Hartman sliding left. Sam looking. And he steps out near the 16. They've got to go for it on fourth down. 
Hartman picked off again. The sixth turnover. This is Riley. It's another Cardinals house call. Touchdown, Louisville. I don't know that Louisville has ever had a better quarter in the history of its program. Yeah, just a terrible pass there that sails on Sam right to the defender who's waiting and says, thank you for the gift. Riley, I'll take it 90 yards to the house. 48 to 14, Louisville dominating. Getting their hands on the football, sacking the quarterback, causing all kinds of havoc. Oh, I remember that one, yeah. Second down and seven. And there's Towns. Good second effort. Towns has the first down and still carrying people with him. Almost to midfield. You have a chance, even in a game that may seem out of reach. That's a freshman quarterback and a redshirt freshman running back. Good effort. Man, you're great in everything. This is now, I'm evaluating how do we respond as a team. Getting their hands on the football, creating opportunity. Unbelievable effort. There goes Towns running, and he's right across the 40. 2013, 2013 season against the Knolls. That was a pretty Knowles. freaking good Knowles team. Maybe one of the best teams ever. On the run is Towns, and he's brought down over there by Riley. Nick Regano, a freshman from Centerville, Virginia. Jackson Hensley, a freshman from Pikeville, Kentucky, in the game. And on first down, nothing doing for Claiborne. And another sack. The Louisville defense has been dynamite. Dorian Jones makes the play. Absolutely called a great game. The effort that we have seen from these Louisville Cardinals. And let's just add uh -oh. another turnover for good measure. Unbelievable. Galati gets that one. That's the seventh Wake Forest turnover. But in the third quarter continues. He was looking to the sideline. Cards get it when we come back. It's your job to stop me. That's what he said to him. Mm. <laughs> I don't think they had post-game press conferences back then. <laughs> Straight Here's on quick, Facebook. <laughs> quick throw to the right. And the complimentary piece of actually scoring when your defense is able to do that. We, we've seen Louisville force turnovers at a very high clip, and we see a great run there by Tyon Evans to get the first down, it looks like. Proving to people that it's not a fluke. So while this one certainly will not sit well with the Deacon faithful, you know, it's uh, it's college football. And this year in particular, it's, it's really been less predictable. Doman taking a shot. And incomplete intended for Carter. So they have these guys' number, especially in this stadium. Yeah, Louisville will be 4-1 and one on this field now against Wake Forest. Off his right hip for the final 5-53. Look at Towns. Come nice on. Nice run. And he gets ahead for about 12 yards. You know, it wasn't that long ago that Louisville was sitting there at 0-3 in the league. Right? Here but, they are. <laughs> but Scott really believed it. Like, we're not that bad. Right. We, We've had some guys banged up on offense. Our defense is really good. They come back and win, and they follow that up with today's performance. Rivers under a rush. Needs to get across the 30, and he won't make it. Did that ball come free again, or was he down? It looked to me like that ball was out. Griffiths looking over the middle, and that'll be enough for the first down inside the 20-yard line. That's Jackson Hensley. Towards the end zone and incomplete. No flags, and it'll be fourth down. They had eight sacks today. And another turnover, the eighth turnover. Quincy Riley with his second. Now the ball pops free. And he's still going. And he dropped it again. And now they're going to say he's down. Let's watch this play again. So he's trying to do the back shoulder. Too much pressure. Just a great job there. Forcing the wide receiver. Staying in bounds. Now a safety right here. That's what I thought. Wake Forest is about to score points. He gets out of the end zone. <laughs> yeah, Wake fans will want to forget it as well. On third down, 
That's caught hey. with the touchdown. Trey Ball from Richmond, Virginia, catches the touchdown on the pass from Griffiths. So officially for the game now, it's going to be eight turnovers for Wake, one turnover for Louisville. A knee, and you can see the U of L kids on defense want their fans to run onto the field. Louisville forces eight turnovers and records eight sacks in a stunning blowout over number 10 Wake Forest. They were up by one at the half, but in the third quarter, they outscore Louisville, or rather, they outscore Wake 35 nothing. And Louisville wins going away.